Today we're going to talk about how Bootstrap goes into your website and changes the default styling of your text inside your browser. Because the browser does actually have a default styling when it comes to text. And when you add Bootstrap to your website, it actually goes inside the code and overrides the default styling of the browser and adds its own default styling. So today we're going to talk about some of the different stylings we have inside text elements when it comes to Bootstrap. And we're also going to talk about some different tags that we have inside Bootstrap that allow for you to change the text into some cool effects. So what we're going to do is, as you guys can see inside my website here, I deleted all the content we have inside our container fluid. And I went ahead and added three different header tags and a paragraph tag. Now what I want you guys to notice is that inside our website over here, the header tags actually changes size because the bootstrap coding inside the imported style sheet up here changes the text inside your browser. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and add a couple tags that would actually make cool effects inside the text inside the website. So if I were to take, for example, this header up here inside the header one tag, I could actually go ahead and add some more text. So I could actually go ahead and say, this is header one. And I can actually go inside my code here and I can add a tag called small. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tag here. I'm gonna write small and I'm gonna close off the tag right after header one, like so. And if I refresh the browser, you guys will notice that we get a different type of styling for the H1 tag because we add the small element around it. So this is just to show you guys that when we have header tags inside the bootstrap code, we can also add some kind of subtitle to our headers, even though it's still an H1 tag by adding the small tag around the text. So when it comes to these cool effects we can add inside our website, I'm just gonna go and delete the header tags here and just have the paragraph tag. Now what we can actually do here is we can add some of these tags around text to make some really, really cool effects using Bootstrap. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the one called Mark. So if I were to take this text down here that says this is some text and I want to highlight this text, I can use the Mark tag inside Bootstrap. I'm gonna go ahead and put it around the text here, refresh, and as you guys can see, if I were to zoom in a bit, is that we get a highlighted text at the end here. So we can actually highlight the text inside Bootstrap. Now, if I copy this paragraph and add another paragraph below it, refresh, you guys can see we also get inside Bootstrap a default margin underneath the text. So there's actually some spacing between the text, which is also something that Bootstrap does. Now, if I were to change the mark tag into something else, let's say I want to do something called an abbreviation. So I'm gonna say ABBR which is when we use some kind of abbreviation inside the website. So let's actually go ahead and just move this up to text. And the user doesn't know what text actually means. So what I'm gonna do inside the abbreviation tag is I'm gonna add a title and say text means this is a paragraph. You know, just to not confuse the reader, I'm gonna save this, refresh the browser. And as you guys can see, we now get this little dotted line underneath text. If I were to actually hover my mouse cursor on top of it, it now says inside a small text window, this means this is a paragraph. So we can actually, you know, tell the user what we actually mean when we abbreviate a specific word. Let's say I used lol inside the website, which I would never do myself, but let's say I used lol, and then we have a old person visiting our website that don't mean what lol means. They can be told inside this hover what exactly lol means. Now, if I were to go back inside my website here and just go ahead and copy the paragraph tag one more time, we can actually go ahead and add something called a block quote. Now, what this means is that, let's say I want to quote a specific person. What I can do is I can go and say hi there and then say that this is some text, is a quote by some specific person. I can actually go ahead and change the mark into a block quote, like so. And I can go ahead and show you guys what this one does. It actually adds this little quote uh, styling to it. So it actually looks like a quote. Again, we can actually change the styling if we want to inside the CSS file we have up here, if I need to. Um, so we don't have to stick with the default sizes inside Bootstrap, just FYI. And again, I can actually use FYI to add an abbreviation to it because it means for information, get it. Um, but let's say we have a block quote and I want to actually add who actually set this inside the block quote. I can go inside the block quote tags, add a footer tag, and then say we have a person called Daniel Nielsen, which is me. 
as you guys will see, it now changes the styling. So we get this little, you know, by Daniel Nelson. Well, we do actually not need to add the dash here. I just noticed like so. So now we know actually who quoted this text. Now, some of you guys might be looking at this code here, you know, with all the mark tags and abbreviation text and block quote and say, well, Daniel, you said we were going to do something really cool inside Bootstrap when it comes to text. And this right here is kind of normal. It's not really, you know, awesome, but it's, it's kind of okay. So let's actually jump into some of the more cool features we have inside Bootstrap when it comes to using tags. So let's say I have a website that teaches on how to do coding, for example, HTML tutorials, and I want to add code to my website. Well, right now, instead of having to default styling all the code, I could actually go ahead and use Bootstrap default code tag in order to show that this right here, the text I'm typing is code. So what I can do inside my body tag here is I can actually go ahead and add a paragraph tag and say this is some code or some text showing how to code, colon. Next line. And then what I can do down here is I can actually add the code tags we have inside Bootstrap. And then I can actually go ahead and just copy some of the stuff we have up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the, the first paragraph we did inside with the highlighted text and paste it inside my code tag. So what we do actually get inside the browser is, you know, an actually tag that shows specific code. So you guys can actually see we get this default styling of pink inside the browser, which indicates that right now we're actually coding. Of course, we could change the styling of this if we wanted to by just, you know, inspecting the element and see what styling we need to change inside of here in order to change the colors. But this is how we change the text to show that this is actually code. Now, the next cool one we're going to learn is how to actually show keyboard shortcuts inside a website. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and add another paragraph tag. And I'm going to go ahead and write something like, let's say this is actually a tech website where I'm going to show how to, I don't know, do shortcuts inside Photoshop. I can go ahead and say, well, to create a new layer, comma, click control plus shift plus N to create the layer like so. So what we can actually do in here is we can actually wrap this specific code down here that actually shows what you need to click on inside something called a keyboard description. So let's actually go ahead and add that tag. We're going to say KBD and then wrap it around the text like so and go inside the browser. And yes, you guys can see we do actually get this keyboard shortcut looking code if we were to zoom out that tells the user what they need to click on on the keyboard in order to get a specific shortcut, which is kind of nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys two more things we can do with text in here. There's actually a bunch more you guys can do and I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for you guys if you want to see how to do more stuff inside text elements using Bootstrap. But for now, let's actually go ahead and do two more. So inside my code here, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the top paragraph tag with the mark tag, paste it down and just delete the mark tag like so. And inside this text here, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it inside a paragraph that has a specific class. So inside the paragraph, I'm going to say we have a class and this one is going to be called text dash something. And we do actually have quite a few of these. So I can actually go ahead and say, well, let's say we have a success text like so. What you guys will notice is that inside the browser, we get a green text. So this one is some kind of success. Like you did something, you just signed up a new user inside your website. And now it shows a green text that says the user has been signed up. What we can also do is let's say that the user actually typed something wrong when he tried to sign himself up is we can go ahead and say we have a warning inside the text instead of having a success text. As you guys can see now changed to some kind of ominous grayish red color that actually has some kind of warning. You know, you need to need to do something before you can actually continue signing yourself up. We can also do one called danger which of course is going to be red, which means that, whoa, okay, you definitely did something wrong here when you tried to sign yourself up. So we have a bunch of these different stylings in here we can use for text in order to change the color into some kind of, you know, something that indicates something specific like danger or success, or if you want to mute something, you know, make the, the text less noticeable. Uh, we have a bunch of these. And again, the link in the description will tell you guys some more, you know, colors that you can actually add to the text. Now, the last one we're going to learn here is something that actually changes the background color of your text. So I'm going to go ahead and create another paragraph. And instead of saying text danger, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And I'm going to go ahead and say we have something called a BG 
dash, which means that we have some kind of background change, you know, in some kind of color. So what I can also do here is something similar to the previous one. I can go ahead and say we have a success, meaning that right now, if I were to refresh the browser, you guys can see that we have some kind of success message with a green background. Now, this might be even better if you want to have some kind of, you know, oh, you just signed up a new user and, and have a message writing inside the browser, uh, because this one is quite more noticeable. We can also do something very similar to the previous one, like saying we have a warning. Again, if someone types something in, they forgot to write something, then we get this uh, brownish, you know, bright color. We can also do the danger color, like the text above it, which means we now get this red color. So this is how we can actually change some of the stylings or some of the effects we have on text inside Bootstrap. I hope you guys found this useful, and I'll see you guys next time.